Hello everyone, welcome back to the Return of Bloody Night, Return to Bloody Nights. I'm gonna do one final, one, one final thing, Saturday. I guess this is supposedly as a celebratory thing after completing the story to Plants vs. Zombies. But hopefully this will be the end of an era. This will be the end of everything. The end of my troubles, the end of my pain. Saturday. Here they come! Hello? Is this thing even working? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. It's Waffle Brokey here. Listen, I have bad, bad news here. There's a... There was a terrible accident with one of our employees at another pizzeria. It was that damn yellow suit based on Springlock technology. It's caused some real trouble. We've made the decision to stop using the costumes. Altogether. One more incident like this and our business is ruined. Uh, now listen carefully. I need you to meet me in the morning after your shift. We'll record new instruction tapes to send out to the other restaurants that have these costumes, and I'll explain exactly what you need to do. Again, simple as last time. You know what? I have a theory that someone may be sabotaging the functionality of these costumes on purpose. It's a real shame. They used to be one of our biggest draws. But we'll get to the bottom of this. Whoever's responsible will be held accountable. But enough about that. Let's talk about you. Congratulations on making it to night six. You're a real Gee, pro thanks. Now. I'm impressed. I've got your payment ready and waiting for you. Meet me in the morning and we'll settle up. Until then, keep an eye on those animatronics. You never know what they might do. Especially now. Good luck, and I'll see you soon. Mr. Brogy. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. This is bad. Get ready. I'm off. I guess I never learn when to open when to actually open the doors. And when to keep them closed. Still, I'm gonna keep this cassette playing. Hello? Is this thing even working? Oh, yes. Hello. It's Waffle Brokey here. Listen, I have bad, bad news here. There's a... There was a terrible accident with one of our employees at another pizzeria. It was that damn yellow suit based on Springlock technology. It's caused some real trouble. We've made the decision to stop using the costumes. Altogether. One more incident like this, and our business is ruined. Uh, now listen carefully. I need you to meet me in the morning after your shift. We'll record new instruction tapes to send out to the other restaurants that have these costumes, and I'll explain exactly what you need to do. Again, simple as last time. You know what? I have a theory that someone may be sabotaging the functionality of these costumes on purpose. It's a real shame.
shame, too. They used to be one of our biggest draws. But we'll get to the bottom of this. Whoever's responsible will be held accountable. But enough about that. Let's talk about you. Congratulations on making it to night six. You're a real pro now. I'm impressed. I've got your payment ready and waiting for you. Meet me in the morning and we'll settle up. Until then, keep an eye on those animatronics. You never know what they might do. Especially now. Good luck, and I'll see you soon. I'm out. I still really need to know how to use these doors. Properly, at least. For real though, I still need to know when to open the doors and when to keep them closed. Alright, Spring Bonnie's already off the ground. the doors oh shit you almost had me there you almost fucking had me there is he gone yeah, he's gone. Okay, not the best time for this shit. Okay, I'm out of here. Run already! Oh sh Almost! You almost had me there, you asshole! You almost fucking had me there! Shut the fuck up, waffle brogy.
not the best time to be doing this, but okay. You gonna do something? Thank God. Oh, shh. Fuck this shit, I'm out. How much further am I going to continue on with Saturday? I have no idea. Don't you dare glitch out my screen. You stay right there, you pansies. Red bear's gone. That was quick. Go on. Go on. Oh no! Both coming from both sides. This isn't good, this isn't good! <laughs> I was so close! I was so close, I was at 5 a.m. I even heard that damn message. My heart was pounding. For some reason, this sounds didn't play. I don't know why. Devs, we really need to fix that. Seriously. <sighs> like I shit you not. Sometimes the sounds won't even play. Like the bang sounds won't even play for certain animatronics. Like, I don't know if this is intentional or not. But they really need to fix it.
We're still continuing on Saturday because I have more courage than brains. Oh, you've ki you're kidding me. Go on. Gotta open the doors quickly before the heat goes up. See, that's what I mean when sometimes sounds don't play. You're not alone here. There are others trapped in this nightmare with you. Wait, so th there were different messages at play? Waffle. This is bad. This is bad. No. <laughs> AGAIN I WAS AT 5 AM! Right when I had the power... Right when the power was... Right when the power ran out. Listen man, I don't give a fuck if the total raw footage adds up to two hours or one... Or one hour. I'm still doing this shit. You can't stop me! Neither can you, Fredbear. Neither can you, Springbon. And neither can the puppet behind me. I am still persistent as fuck. This is not good. This is extremely bad! Yeah, 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 Wathel, just keep going on your bullshit. Uh, hello? Is this thing even working? Yes, you oh, dipshit. Yes. Hello, especially now. <laughs> oh, shit! Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you never know what they might do. Maybe they'll rip your face off. Or whatever.
Whatever, Wathel. Just keep rambling on your bullshit. Uh, hello? Is this thing even working? Oh, yes. Hello. It's Wathel Brokey here. Listen, I have bad, bad news here. There's a... There was a terrible accident with one of our employees at another pizzeria. It was that damn yellow suit based on Springlock technology. It's caused some real trouble. We've made the decision to stop using the costumes altogether. One more incident like this and our business is ruined. Uh, now listen carefully. I need you to meet me in the morning after your shift. We'll record new instruction tapes to send out to the other restaurants that have these costumes, and I'll explain exactly what you need to do. Again, simple as last time. You know what? I have a theory that someone may be sabotaging the functionality of these costumes on purpose. It's a real shame, too. They used to be one of our biggest draws. But we'll get to the bottom of this. Whoever's responsible will be held accountable. But enough about that. Let's talk about you. Congratulations on making it to night six. You're a real pro now. I'm impressed. I've got your payment ready and waiting for you. Meet me in the morning and we'll settle up. Until then, keep an eye on those animatronics. You never know what they might do. Especially now. Good luck, and I'll see you soon.
screams of the dead echo through these halls. And soon they will be your screams too. Shut up, Waffle. You'll be wish. You'll be Strikes five. I've never been this excited for a video game, but I fucking did it! <sighs> Alright, what do we have now? There was someone that night. I called for help, but no one came for me. Is this Elizabeth? No now I feel different. I can't disappear. Not now. I found others who are just like me. They need my help. This... I must save them. Oh, this is probably Charlotte. Oh, this is Charlotte. Oh, my bad, not Elizabeth. This is Charlotte. Guide them. I'll give them their happiest day. Nice! What did I think of this game? Yeah. If you have if you have the guts to play this game, I recommend playing this game. I think this would qualify for a scariest game of the year. Unironically. I think this would qualify as scariest game of the year. Unironically. <sighs> you don't know what I've went through. You don't know what I've been through until you play this game. And those other times where I was very close to the end but I got jump scared by Hollowed-Eyed Fredbear. Dear Scott, after recent unexpected events following the acquisition of our company to another organization,
organization, we have to change our plans regarding your future work at one of our establishments, Fred Ferris Family Diner. You've proven yourself to be extraordinarily valuable, and we want to offer you a new contract at our job at a different local establishment for the day shift job. Please check your mailbox and respond to us as quickly as possible. Freddy and his gang are waiting for you! Hey, nice, I got my paycheck! I got 99 dollars! Five missing children reported missing. Suspect identified. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. July 4th, 1983. What I can't believe! Still. Finally! The end of an era! Hopefully I don't have to do more of this shit. Please. Alright, the challenges, game modes, extras. Cut con- let's see, cut content. Old version of the game. Interesting. Office difference, new. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right? Okay. Oh, I guess this is like fully illuminated. The puppet, old version. <laughs> I'm fast as fuck, boy. Spring Bonnie 2.0 run. Fuck, boy. Oh, I'm running like Foxy up in there. Okay. Oh, these are like 2.0s. Game over screen. Fredbear. Spring Bond. Uh, Fredbear 2.0. Spring Bond 2.0. Alright, the old, new. Monday. Tuesday. I know this is pretty much the end of the video, but we're still gonna check out the cut. Any extras? Cutscenes, eh? Beat the game and play at least once in all game modes in order to unlock all cutscenes. Okay, we already have this cutscene of over here, but I'm not sure about these ones. Oh, we're supposed to complete all game modes. Complete game modes. Low budget. Puppet master. Security puppet instead of adding difficulty will multiply every time you get caught. In-game night to a real-life night. Enjoy real-life six hours of this game mode. What the fuck? I don't know anybody who has the time to do that. Okay, we got locations. Alright. Animatronics. Okay. Spring Bond, Red Bear 2.0. Okay. Hello, kids! Hey! I'll definitely not bite a kid down in 1983. Don't worry about me, kids. Fredbear was the first animatronic that Henry had created. Together with Spring Bonnie, Fredbear had been modeled after the toys that Henry's daughter Charlotte had grown up playing with. After a while, it had given Henry the idea to create another bear character, with a black hat and dark brown colors. Hey, Freddy! Spring Bonnie. Oh yeah! Spring Bonnie entertains children and sings on stage with his best friend Fredbear. They symbolize the friendship between Henry and William, the founders of Fredbear's family diner. Well, after finding out... Whatever. Well, after Henry find out that William was in fact responsible, I guess that friendship fell apart. Later on, a newer version was built. This had been particularly interesting for William and extremely useful for his future plans. Huh. I wonder what future plans he had in mind. Hey, kids! Don't worry, I'll be terrorizing the night guard at the door, at the front door. Making new versions of Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie was William's idea. With a larger budget and greater knowledge, they were able to replace the current versions, since these ones had many improvements and were safer to wear. The suit will be haunted 
this zoo will be haunted by a vengeful spear, but that is a story for another time. Evan! Was that the bite of 87? And peekaboo! And peekaboo! And peekaboo! <laughs> this suit became William's favorite. I wonder why. Initially created to entertain children, he used it for murder! Well, that took a very expected turn. Sometime in the future, William will merge with the suit and be reborn as Springtrap. Reanimated walking corpse for waiting, looking for his next victim. I mean, if you've already know, to, know the Lord of FNAF, this sh is pretty obvious. I've actually never been jump scared by, by the security puppet. In constant fear that his daughter will be harmed, Henry had to find a way to defend her, even when she, he was not able to keep his eyes on her. This security puppet he had devised was a perfect solution. At least he thought it was, but instead of becoming her guardian angel, it became a vacuum for her soul. Right. Just like that one... Just like demonstrate in that one mini game in FNAF 6. Oh, you have the endos. This endoskeleton was the first of its kind. It was able to move and walk around on its own and was also give, gave an opportunity to the employees to use it as a costume. It was very advanced and charming technology, but this also makes it incredibly dangerous. Oh shit. A few jump scares. <laughs> Red Bear. <laughs> Spring Bonnie. <laughs> Red Bear 2.0. <laughs> Spring Bonnie 2.0. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is the jump scare? <laughs> okay, I guess no jump scares for the endo. I guess the endo just randomly stands up on its own. Anyway, guys, no, I'm not gonna be doing the custom night or game modes. I'm- I'm already done with this game, okay? I'll see you guys later. Possibly uploading videos for the PVZ minigames or SCP Observer. Anyways, this is the end of an era. Sayonara.